Hey guys, Mrs. Harris here. Um, I just wanted to do a follow-up with the experiment that we did um, in class today. We added lemon juice to milk, and after you let this set for a while, I just I had to share this because it's just really awesome. Let's see if I can do this without spilling it on the laptop. So we see chunks, definite chunks, and I wanted to see if I could, there's a lemon seed in there. Um, what I wanted to do was see if I could make kind of a pre-cheese press. So I have a, a cloth here. It's not cheesecloth, but it is multi-layered, and it will take the moisture out. And so this is kind of my, just my experimenting on my own. So I had a question that if I have these solids here, and I drain the liquid out of it somehow, would I wind up with some sort of a pre-cheese, uh, basically, because these are the milk solids. This is the process that it goes through for making cheese. It gets um, separated with um, something called rennet, and um, that separates out the curds from the whey, and that's what that milky water is. It's the whey. So I'm going to pour this on here. There's a plate underneath here. The dark spots that you see are lemon seeds. So my hypothesis then is that if I drain the liquid from this, you can see the, the liquid coming out. That's pretty much what milk is. We talked about colloid suspensions. We have solids that are evenly distributed in a watery substance. Okay. So just to kind of give you guys a, not an official look, but just, um, you know, my, my hypothesis here was that if I squeeze the water from this, I'd get milk solids that I could use for cheese making maybe. Different cheeses are pressed, and different things are added to them, different types of bacteria that give cheese their flavor. So my process was to use this to strain the solids out. Let's see what we're left with. Oh, I think I can drain some more solids out of that, or liquids, I mean. And there are some simple home recipes that you can find for making cheese if you're interested in doing that and you'd be able to recognize the physical and chemical changes. Alright, so that's feeling pretty all right, pretty solid in there. So let's see what we're left with. A big pile of milk protein and some lemon seeds. I'll move this camera closer so you can see. Um, <laughs> it's a lot thicker. It's kind of the consistency of yogurt. It's not as chunky looking anymore because they're not floating around in a liquid. Um, you can see it's a little bit runny in terms of viscosity, physical property. Um, and I think I'll go ahead and be brave and taste it. Maybe it'll just taste like milk. Maybe it'll be a little sour. It tastes like an extremely lemony yogurt. has a consistency of yogurt. Um, there's no bacteria in here to give it a flavor or anything like that. So cheese making, um, you follow some different rules. Um, yes, I did just taste that. And no, it doesn't taste gross. It tastes like lemon juice, but it has the consistency of yogurt. So <laughs> don't worry, I'm not going to die. Um, all right, so just some fun stuff I wanted to follow. If you guys want to see what we did prior to this, check out the lesson.